Okay, I'm having so many issues today. Like, I don't know what's going on. Guys, good morning from Doha. Okay, it's my second time in Qatar and actually like only just six months. Yeah, and um, I'm back here. Pretty much um, haven't seen anything. We just arrived last night, went to Nobu because that was like a safe option and a place that I, I liked last time as well. Went to Nobu for dinner and um, just woke up like feeling kind of dead because uh, yeah, like it's been a lot lately. Woke up, got dressed. I'm wearing a Loewe shirt that I've shown you recently. These Loewe pants. And for the first time ever, I'm wearing these turquoise orange sandals. I mean, what do you think about this color? I kind of like it, even though I'm more like, to like leaning towards like neutral colors lately. I really like this color. And I think I'm also gonna wear this back in 25. I mean, the agenda obviously does not fit in this bag, but it's just to go to the breakfast and kind of like have my coffee, do my stuff, make plans for the day. And then, you know, I can take it easy. I can take it out, etc. Like I said, I'm here for the second time, but the first time I tried vlogging and I never really published the vlog because just, there was not enough material. I'm gonna go down to breakfast now and I'm gonna go through that material to kind of like understand if maybe I can show you some snippets of what we did last time. Planning on actually doing some holidays after. There I say it. Yes, it's been said. I don't know if the holidays are gonna happen. We will probably know today. I'm really hopeful that we can go for like three days somewhere just to kind of like charge up our batteries. But it's a very, very, very busy year and a busy season for both of us. Yeah, what can I tell you? I mean, you're probably gonna hear more in this vlog. So let's do it. Breakfast time, as always, planning my day because uh, I always like to in the mornings with my first coffee set the priority of what I want to achieve that day if I do it the chances are I think like 70% more productive day I have if I don't do it my day just kind of goes and I do what I kind of am forced to do I don't do what I you know what I want to do so I'm gonna like set it all out first and then I'm gonna try and respond to some emails I'm gonna get on doing some picking some things on the list I also have booked a nail appointment today so oh, I set a nail appointment today because I actually, yeah, I needed it. And like I said, we might be going on more holidays. I want to do something fun and something cute. So let's do that. Okay, few updates before we head out to the city. I'm actually heading out to get my nails done. So I didn't even let you know, but we are in Doha because um, of several reasons. Actually, my boyfriend's here for work. He's working on something with Sheikh Al Mayasa. Consequently, also my manager Enrico's here working in a different capacity on the same thing. So like, I'm just kind of, you know, here. And this morning they were like having a big meeting. I was sitting by myself at a table on my laptop with my agenda, like you could have seen. And my manager asked me, oh my God, are you not bored? Like, you know, just here, nothing to do really. And I said, oh my God, I am loving it i'm such an independent person like i love to do my own things i love to sit and like catch up i caught up on my emails on overviewing stuff like you know i had to pay my taxes i was doing like admin stuff i looked at the books from like last year like it's also we're coming into the second quarter of the year so i made my goals i picked up some goals that i already made like i already done and that's the kind of like I don't know the beauty of it all. I love being by myself. We booked flights for the holiday, so we are officially going for holiday after Doha, which makes me so, so, so happy. And yeah, I'm gonna get my nails done. I am still gonna be wearing the same look that you've seen before. I actually really love these orange sandals because they're so comfy. I wanna put on some rings. I'm gonna put my ring that I got for my 30th year. It's not gonna fit, okay. I'll put my aura ring. I don't really like it aesthetically, the aura ring. Some people do, not me, but you know, I wear it because it measures my body functions. Then obviously my promise ring. And then on this hand, shall I also put on this? I've been wanting this for such a long time. Now that my nails are not done, it's not gonna look pretty, but I got a pinky. Pinky, pinky 
ring. Ta-da! So cute, right? I actually quite like how it looks on a pinky because my even more on the other hand, I'll see. I quite like it because I think it's quite understated and unexpected. So so very cute. Nobody really wears it on the pinky ring. And for me, it's kind of like I like this kind of fashion statement. I don't know if you can tell, but here we go. Okay, so that's that. Um now let's go and get my nails done. So you know I wanna have like a top, like a good hand game. Let me get, show you a bit of Doha. From what you can see, the windows are quite dusty. I think there was like this really bad Sahara storm thingy bob, so it's a bit dusty, but yeah, it's looking very sunny. made it to nailed it that kind of rhymes and i'm so happy to get my nails done because honestly i really need it at this point and also because i'm going on holidays i want to have like a super beautiful thing like i told you plus you know the place is so stunning it smells great it's beautiful let me show it to you like i love when you know you can feel really like looked after in the place i met the ladies from nailed it in london and now this is my visit in doha look at the pedicure stations Beautiful. Okay, so let's get feeling of like a true kind of, you know, spa vibes. Let's do that. Okay, guys, I went for like a beautiful classic French because now I think like I'm a little bit tanned from Dubai and also because I went on holidays. And I really wanted to have something like this. And to be honest, I'm very happy because it didn't take forever to get my nails and I hate when I have to sit for like four hours. So I quite like it when it's like, you know, beautiful. And look at this place. How stunning. So many options. So relaxing. The only thing I wish, like that I imagine if I didn't have my pedicure, I would definitely want to have a pedicure there. So guys, what have you missed out today? Nothing. Literally. I just wanted to give you a little update because so that it's not like continuing vlogging tomorrow you know what I mean but a few things I'm gonna have dinner with my management team we're going to the top of the hotel I'm kind of like just taking it very easy today I'm previewing my YouTube video um, before it goes live so I came back to the room I uploaded TikTok I'm getting very active on that and like what I'm doing is every day I get dressed I film what I'm wearing so that Basically, you can have an outfit of the day every single day on TikTok. How nice of me. I got dressed. Let me show you what I'm wearing. You can't really see. The light's not great. That's so annoying. I hate when that happens. Anyway, mess. Of course, it's me. So I've got my new Hermes scarf because the top that I've got underneath was bare shoulders. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a scarf on to be respectful to the culture, etc. But that's not it. I actually get very, very cold in Qatar. I get so much colder in Doha than I do in Dubai because of the AC. I feel like AC here is just blasting like nowhere else. Otherwise the look is fully black. I've got the black pants from Totem and the black, you know how much I love my clouds. I love them so much. Now the perfect bag, which I'm not gonna bring just because I don't actually need a bag. I'm just going upstairs and I, all I need is my phone. But the perfect bag would be my mini Kelly in gold because this color just allows so much. But I could also, if I wanted a bigger bag, go for like my um, yellow mini Kelly or even a green mini Kelly, you know. This scarf is just insanely beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. What do you guys think? Okay, here's a bit of a zoomed in option. What do you think? Do you like it? I really like it. And I think it's quite chic. Like, this is the cashmere scarf. It's not the silk scarf. So, yeah, it's a little bit different and I love it. Also, tomorrow I have to go shopping and I have to absolutely have to find Sephora because I broke one of my favorites. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oops, let's just leave it before it goes worse. I have to clean it all up. Well, not all, but most of it. Whatever I could, I cleaned. There's a piece there, but it was like all here, basically. So tomorrow is gonna be much like more fun. We're gonna go to the Pearl, I think. Gonna go shopping and, well, I mean fun. You know what I mean? And then the day after we're leaving Doha. And I also wanted to show you now that I had my nails done, how beautiful is my pinky ring. I love it. I think even just wear the pink earring and nothing else is so beautiful and so cool and not many people do it. And on my other hand, I got a little stuck. So, ta-da! I don't understand why my camera is always, always 
30. Good morning guys from your girl. Did I already say good morning today? I'm not sure. Maybe. What's the time? 11.27 and I've done so many things. So what did I do today? Uh, I woke up at 7.30, I went downstairs for a coffee, I did a bunch of emails. Bunch of emails, I really really mean it. I filmed a TikTok, I filmed something for a real. I had an online class that I'm taking and I had my accent therapy, if you can call it that way. What else am I doing today? Today I'm actually going out out, not that out out. I'm going to the village mall, I think. Well, basically I was gonna go to the Pearl, which is what I've heard about, but then I received a bunch of DMs that are saying to go to village mall. And I'm thinking, you know what? It is hot outside. I need to be dressed properly, right? because I want to be respectful to the culture and at the same time it's freezing indoors because there's like always like 10 degrees inside of these AC to the max places. So I'm dressed and I think the mall would be good because of the temperatures, etc. So we're gonna go to the village mall, we're gonna get an Uber, I'm dressed, I'm wearing my Celine shirt, totem trousers, Celine sandals, I'm gonna bring my yellow Kelly, this is basically the look. And we're gonna head out. Are you guys ready? Are you excited to go shopping with me? Oh my god, my battery is not full full. We need to change that because when I need to Uber back, I don't wanna be like stuck calling for help. Small correction, the mall I'm going to is not called the village mall. It's called Villaggio. So, sticking it with the Italian theme, going to Villaggio right now. I need to buy some things for me for the holiday and also for my boyfriend, like some swimming shorts because he literally brought nothing and me neither. Like maybe I have one bikini that I'm willing to buy. So that's about it. Okay guys, we made it to Villaggio. This looks like a Venice. It's really, um, I don't know, I didn't expect it to look like this at all. But let's go and explore a little bit to see what's in there. At first I was like, I'm not sure I love this mall. It's a bit like, mm. now I love it. It's like quite quiet. There are not many people around and it's so interesting to see Arabic writing for Ralph Lauren, for Burberry, look at this, Valentino, uh, Tom Ford, love it. Right now we're talking, I actually already got a pair of sunglasses in like a, like an eyewear boutique, but now I want to visit a few other shops, exciting. I've also been to Sephora. They didn't have my Sunday Riley product that I cannot live without, which I will link below so you guys can check it out. We have Gucci, we have everything, and it's so nice and quiet. Oh, I love it. So beautiful as well. Okay, we are leaving Vuitton. Um, but the thing is, I'm not gonna be walk not gonna be able to walk around with all of this stuff. So probably gonna go back very soon. Okay, done a bit of Gucci shopping, Vuitton shopping, Sephora, some necessities for the trip. Now we're at Bunkley checking my luck because there's a lot of pieces that I want but you know they're sold out let's just see who knows like a little souvenir of the trip okay hopefully you'll be able to hear me there's literally like nobody around me as you can see so you know impressions actually like when I started first at the mall I was like this looks like Las Vegas it's not really authentic I was hoping to see something a little bit more you know but then as we kept proceeding I got to love it more and more and genuinely like what I really like in Qatar is that people are friendly very friendly very nice everybody that I met here I absolutely thought they were beautiful and wonderful that's what i can say it is a little bit quiet for my type of lifestyle because you guys know i love like the social scene i love all of that stuff but then at the same time it could be that it's just quiet for tourists and probably not for locals and also everywhere i shopped they were like can we have your qatari phone number and i'm like i, I don't have a qatari phone number and they're like you're not local so everybody thought i was a local for some reason yeah, that's it. Small shopping aftermath. I'm actually heading out for a little coffee. I have a hair appointment at five. So I'm just gonna be around the Shreve. I might pop by at M7 to check out the exhibition. And that's about it. Let's head out. We are staying at the Shreve, going the wrong way. Wanna get a coffee? 
bar. Okay, there's other kind of places this way. We are staying at Mushroom, which is where I stayed last time as well. It's like maybe... Oh, did I just walk through a fountain? Literally, guys. Vlogging? It's not really a fountain, but let's just say, yeah. There was some water on the floor, not a fountain, but anyway. I'm trying to understand where I need to go because I want to have a cup of coffee and I need to go. I can go straight, that's okay. So, I'm gonna have a coffee, then I'm gonna go to M7 to see the exhibition and the coffee first because I really need it. And that's it. I feel like Mushri is very, like, very new comparing to everything else that I've seen so far in Qatar. So, yeah, I'll show you around. So, we have very tall buildings. It's very, very cool. Also, like, it's a little bit windy, it's not too hot. Well, you've seen what I'm wearing, so it's quite pleasant. Still in the same look. But I have to go to the museum later, so, you know, I have to be dressed a certain way. And yeah, this is it. In Doha, there are also like a lot of Western sort of, um, a lot of Western shops, restaurants, cafes. So, so far, I've seen like, I don't know, like Boots, uh, Arabica, Elan Cafe, Harrods, obviously, which we know that belongs to Qatari family, right? So it's a lot. Also, like the World Cup is happening very soon. So I've seen like a lot of Serbian flags around because we will be participating in the World Cup, which makes me very proud. This is a coffee shop that looks quite nice. I think I've been here before. Um, so yeah. That's basically it. Now, ah, I can see Alan Cafe. That makes me feel like I'm in London. It's quite interesting. And then I want to go to Arabica. Can we just discuss? It's 29 degrees outside. I do not know why, but I feel so comfortable walking around in trousers, in a shirt, in a knit. Like, I don't feel... I don't know why I also look so ridiculous. That's another thing. I wouldn't want to be like um, in a mini dress. I don't know why, but there's something about this part of the world where I really want to be like dressed, kind of like dressed, like covered. I just want to, I feel like it. It's very, very natural. It feels very right thing to do. And I really like, okay, I'm having so many issues today. Like, I don't know what's going on. I was saying, I feel like it's such a perfect thing to be like covered up, even in 29 degrees. I'm not hot, the sun just hits different. I feel that it's like a right thing to do. And for some reason, I really like my style, how it turns out, even if it's summer style, but kind of covered up. I don't know. I feel like in general, I sort of like adapt to the countries where I go. So I always wear something that feels like it's very natural for that area, for that like place. You know, in Paris, I dress differently to London, to New York, to Positano, obviously. And in Doha, I feel like I dress differently as well. And I really like the way Tamara in Doha dresses. So that's my few thoughts. And we made it, guys. Also, the receipt in Arabic, I love it. It's just so, I don't know, it's special. It's a little bit different. Okay, let me show you some of my favorite bits and bobs from this collection. We have seen that already many times. Like, I really, really like it a lot. But there are points that I think are very special. There's this bag of pills. <sighs> this is like a very emotional piece, I think. It's just something that Virgil did because every time he traveled, etc., he always brought like a bag of pills with him because he was already ill, unfortunately. Then we have a um, few pieces that I think are very, very special. And I don't smoke, but there's the cigarette box, which says for smoking. And then this one, which says, I only smoke when I drink. Um, you know, like special pieces. Also like this textured piece, it looks pretty incredible. The oh. ear True. Well, All right. I love the earrings. Look at this tool. 
Incredible. Guys, I came back to the room and I found this bag waiting for me with a beautiful, beautiful card inside that says, Welcome to Qatar, Tamara, lots of love. Oh my god, and it's from my friend from Doha, Sheka. Um, it's very hard to do this with one arm. Wait, upside down now. I opened it immediately, I couldn't wait. It's a stunning pair of earrings. Let me zoom it in so you can see it. For some reason, my camera won't focus right now. But here we go. How beautiful are these earrings? I'm honestly, honestly beyond myself. And I have to say, it's so nice to feel welcome everywhere you come to have friends. That's really the beauty of it all. Good morning, guys. It's 5.30 a.m. and we are leaving Qatar, sadly. But we're going to a holiday destination, which makes me very, very happy. So it's not all so sad. I realized that this vlog probably will be short because overall I had like two whole days in Doha, so, which is not enough, obviously. So I think what I will do is I will insert some clips of my last time that I was here for Fashion Trust Arabia and um, you guys will be able to enjoy a little bit more of the Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I'm sorry if it's echoey as you can hear we're in the bathroom but the light here is just the best or wait it will become best in the second when I put on my glam core mirror. What is that sound? I think Enrique was listening to some voice notes. I just got dressed up. We are heading out for the Valentino event of the Qatar FTAs. I don't even know if I told you why we are in Qatar. We arrived last night at like 2 a.m. basically for the Fashion Trust Arabia. Quick outfit um, to show you what I'm wearing. We're heading out now to Valentino cocktail and I'm wearing a gown from Valentino. I tried to be kind of like when choosing my outfits as respectful and mindful of the culture here. So this is the look as you can see the light is not really the best but this is the look and i really really love it i'm gonna grab my bag i've got also some valentino earrings and we are ready to go okay guys we just arrived to the valentino event and the venue is insane this is so beautiful by the way we are in doha at the islamic museum it's really really beautiful and over there you can see the modern city which perfectly contrasts this place. Now both you and I can see my makeup because to be honest we traveled a bit and in this heat it's kind of hard to even know what you look like but I didn't show you these. I love them so. Hi guys I don't know what this vlog is going to turn out to be like because I'm not actually vlogging and the reason for that is that it's the first time in this country for me and I'm really trying to like get kind of everything I can and experience as much as I can. On top of that, I think I told you this before, we've never had more work. I've never had more work in my life than now. And it's intense. It's a lot to do. I had my hair done. My makeup, I'm gonna do myself. I always like to do my makeup myself. Tonight is the gala. We're going to National Museum. I am very excited. I have quite a few dresses actually here with me and I was not sure like what I'm gonna wear but I have this off-white runway dress and I know you would never think off-white is a brand that you're gonna wear it like a red carpet but yes I think that's what I'm gonna wear because it's very unexpected something different and I want to wear something edgier something different something really cool not too princessy especially because I am in such a country where everything is so beautifully elegant that I would like to contrast since I've arrived I've been like it's really warm and I'm really trying to be very respectful to the culture so I mean it is like I don't know like 35 degrees this is not usually what I would wear in 35 degrees but I also kind of, you know, I want to be uh, I quite enjoy to be in line with the rules let me show you the look <laughs> this, this is not the best light either okay, I've got the Valentino jeans that by the way, I'm loving it's a sample, but I want to buy these jeans, they're amazing and I've got this Valentino shirt which I think is beautiful, stunning so everything is covered the only thing is tonight my gown has got bare shoulders and i'm a little bit not worried but i'm not sure if that's okay so i've been kind of asking around different people and people are saying it's fine if it's like a gown but i still want to see if i could have some type of pashmina or a scarf we'll try and 
figure it out. So I'm gonna do my own makeup and then I will show you the total final look. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure you can tell, but this is the dress. It's a dress, like I said, from Off-White. It's quite body hugging, but I have something that I would put over. And then if there's ever an issue, I have like a 20 meter long train. Should I want to cover myself? I've got jewelry from Chopard. I think it's stunning. I don't know if you can see, but the jewels are like a really, really exceptionally beautiful blue. It's quite, um, might not be like the best match in terms of like style, but I think that's the beauty of it, especially since we're in Qatar, to mix a little bit more of an oriental design with a more architectural modern. That's what I wanted to achieve. So that's it. Enrico's here getting ready. Um, <laughs> he's saying tonight he actually looks like a manager. <laughs> Who wants? <laughs> and we are very, very um, excited to experience this because first time like a red carpet in Middle East for me, you know? I've never done a red carpet in this part of the world, so let's see. Good morning, guys. Last night was intense. The dinner was beautiful. It was very inspiring. I still have my hair from last night because the glam today is a three, so don't judge. We stayed till 3 a.m. at an after party. That's why I look like this today. But it's actually really, really fun because there's so many of my friends who are here. Now we're going for lunch to the souk. This is what I'm wearing, very simple. Ambush mules as well. I just decided to, you know, go a little bit extra. The bobby bag, I don't know if you've seen this one. I, I actually also wore it last night after I changed from the gown. And that is the vibe for the lunch. I feel really bad I didn't vlog anything in Doha because we've been having too much fun. Guys, last night we ended up at an after party after the gala. Uh, I was taking over Vogue Italia for um, gala so I couldn't actually properly vlog because I was trying to do content for my Instagram and for their Instagram and then ended up not vlogging. But right now we're going to um, Dior lunch followed by the Dior exhibition this evening and I opened some incredible gifts that I wanted to show you. Oh, I left mess, but that's no surprise. We have Vanilla Diorama, Christian Dior fragrance, which I love by the way, it smells like dessert, and Oud Supreme uh, Christian Dior candle, which I really am excited for my new apartment. We have schedules and invitations, and this is where we're going to today. Then a stunning, stunning, stunning scarf. Look at this. How beautiful are these colors? And then, this is like a little bag, like a daily perfect for all the activities. And I think it will also be amazing for my iPad. So very excited for that. So that's what we've got in here. And we have to leave now because I think we're running a little bit late. Guys, I'm loving Doha, but the most I'm loving is meeting you. So here we go. Like, uh, it's not really usual that in Doha I can actually show as well because yeah, like yeah. a lot of ladies, they don't want to be shown on the that's camera, right, which yeah. I understand, of course. So what are your names? Zena, Andrina. So nice to meet you guys. So nice to meet you, you well. I'm like running late to the Dior event, but I couldn't <laughs> wait to. Enjoy. I couldn't wait to. I watch from my phone. <laughs> 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 Enjoy. Bye. So cute. I just, just love this place. It's so welcoming and warm. People are very nice. Food is great. Shopping? No, shopping is not good. That's the one thing that, <laughs> that's the one thing that I think Doha needs to improve. Shopping. Guys, everything else is amazing, I think. But also, we are in this part of the city, Meshrib. Meshrib? Meshrib. Meshrib. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, don't hate me. I'm trying my best. And there's not really much here. It's mainly like new area. But a lot of my followers told me to go to the Pearl. And they said there's Hermes over there. But we don't have time for that. So this will have to do for now, for this visit. Hopefully, I will come next time. This is something I haven't seen before because this was not in London as this is Shaker's private collection full of art couture of course as you can imagine and you can see this is Christian Dior by Ralph Simmons art couture autumn winter 2014 I remember this um, is this the Ralph Simmons art couture the one he prepared in like six weeks yeah how crazy. Yeah, the one that was in the film too. Yeah. Yeah. That I cried at the end of that Same. movie. It's so beautiful. And we have a little bit more here. Look at this raffia jacket. Uh bustier, which is like embroidered with flowers, very recognizable. So stunning. 
that like reminds me a little bit of Japanese kind of Kyoto styles. This is the lift that we entered. As you can see, to access the next floor of the exhibition. Very beautiful. Okay, we're in Jador room. And as you can see, there's like an installation of these hanging Jalado fragrance bottles and embellished stunning dresses. These are so beautiful, stunning. Okay, as we're checking at the airport, I was saying that last time I was here, I was here for a fashion dress Arabia. And it was a very, very uh, beautiful trip, especially because it was my first time in Doha. I met some of the locals, I really immersed myself a little bit more in. And it was the last time that we saw Virgil Abloh speak, the last time that I saw him, for me personally. And it was very emotional seeing his work. Equally so, yesterday we went to see his work, so so that was it guys, we're at the airport, we are heading to our next destination. I hope you enjoyed this vlog even a little bit and I will see you in my next one.